The brown-haired girl has houses and land, for Eleanor has none. The best advice I can give you, my son, bring the brown-haired girl home. He dressed himself in scarlet red and rode all over the town. And everybody that saw him that day thought he was the king. He rode till he came to fair Eleanor's door and tingled at the ring. And none so ready as fair Eleanor to arise and let him in. What news, what news, Lord Thomas, she said, what news have you for me? I've come to ask you to my wedding, tomorrow is the day. Bad news, bad news, Lord Thomas, she said, bad news, bad news to me. You've come to ask me to your wedding, when I thought your bride I was to be. She dressed herself in scarlet red and rode all over the town. And everybody that saw her that day took her to be the queen. She rode till she came to Lord Thomas's door and tingled at the ring. And none so ready as Lord Thomas himself to arise and let her in. Is this your bride, Lord Thomas, she cried. I'm sure she's a wonderful girl, but you might have had me as your fair young bride, as ever the sun shone on. The bride she had a long pin knife, was wonderful long and sharp. Between the short ribs and the long, she pierced fair Eleanor's heart. Fair Eleanor, what makes you look so pale? You used to look so red. You used to have two red rosy cheeks. Now you have nary one. Oh, don't you see? Oh, can't you see the knife that was pierced in me? Oh, don't you see my own heart's blood a trickling to my knee? Lord Thomas had a long broad sword. It was wonderful, long and sharp. He cut the head of the new bride off and kicked it against the wall. He pointed the handle toward the sun, the point toward his breast. Here is the going of three true loves. God send our souls to rest.